Good evening, folks, and welcome to another fun-filled podcast here on the Rob's Inner Circle on the Bobby Short Shorts YouTube channel. We have a great show for you guys tonight. We got two up-and-coming stars. We got uh, Joey Laflamme and Victoria Blair, who are standing by behind the scenes. They're about to come on. They're jittery. They're nervous. I, and you know, for people who perform all the time, this is kind of funny. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Guys, it's going to be okay, all right? Hang in there. Okay, guys, open up the show over here. I just wanted um, a couple of shout-outs over here. Um, last Friday, Patty Saragosa and myself. Hi, Claudio. Thanks for tuning in. Claudio uh, Capri has just tuned in. So uh, Patty Saragosa and myself, we went on our live show, Rob and Patty Live, and we had Stefano Vanni and Rosemary LaPasta from Soul Attire. Guys, we went like haywire. We have over 5,000 views for that particular show. And people, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, it's, it's our honor to have had you on. This week, we have another interesting show coming up on the Rob and Patty Live. We got, um, uh, we got uh, who is it? Claudio Capri is coming back on the show. Uh, with Peter Bowen is going to be our guest as well. And a very special guest, Leah Gentile, the big mama Siciliana, and also my castmate in Lee Kumbare. So, guys, you stand by. We have a great Rob and Patty Live coming up. And uh, a quick shout. Guys, don't forget, this upcoming Wednesday, we have the second episode of Daily Struggles coming out again with Patty Saragossa and myself. It's going to be a pretty funny episode, guys. You guys are in for a real treat. Hello, Nate Dodd behind the camera from Los Angeles. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Nate, we got a great show. Stay tuned. We got two excellent performers standing by. Okay, guys. So one last shout out over here, okay? Um, it's that time of year once again, right? Um, you know, it's uh, the time that the ants come out, those pests, you can't get rid of them. I was stuck with these ants for three days. And I ended up going to a hardware store in Ville St. Catherine, and this super cool young teenager who was working there gave me some heavy artillery to get rid of these pests. Guys, I just want to share this with you, okay? If you have an ant problem, this is the way to go. You go get this stuff over here, okay? This is like a syringe. It's a gel that you apply. You apply this around the windows, inside and outside, and also around your doors. Once you're finished with this over here, well, you go for the tomahawk attack. Yeah, baby. You go with this over here. You spray this along your, base, uh, your baseboards, okay, like three inches away, and uh, just spray it generously, not too much, okay, and you're going to see. You're going to get results. And to top things off, to finish the job, you go get these traps over here, okay? You got to pierce holes in them. I took one of the traps that I put. You have three of them. I put six of them. Guys, I was stuck with ants for three days, believe it or not. In 45 minutes, they were all gone. So a big shout out to Wilson. Wilson, who manufactures these products for the ants, and the other one is Ortho. Okay, guys, so we have two eager guests standing by. And it is time. It is time to bring them on. But before we do that, we got to do something, guys. Guys, you got to slip into your pajamas, right? Pour yourself a nice glass of wine. Kick your feet back and put them on the edge of the table. Sit back, relax, and let us carry the load. Guys, it's showtime. So, without further ado, let's introduce our two beautiful guests. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Victoria Blair and Joey Laflamme. Hey, guys. Welcome to Rob's Inner Circle. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, nice to have you on. So, you guys are two uh, young rising stars, and um, you're in the comedy circuit. And uh, listen, let's start off here with uh, the pretty Victoria Blair. Victoria, tell us all about how you got into comedy. How I got into what? Yeah. What do you mean? How I got into comedy? Well, why did you become a comedian and not a hairdresser or, or a seamstress or a city worker or a bus driver? Why did you choose comedy? I'm trying to be funny. Uh... Because uh, because because I like I like talk. expressing myself and I like writing 
And okay. I like making people laugh. Like, uh, I just, I like being on stage. I think that's why. Th th that's the only reason why? Okay, yeah. so... I, I, also, I, I wanted to be curious to see what kind of comedian I'd be. Okay. I wanted I, to I, see if I was going to be, like, absurd or blue or, like, I don't know. Okay, so what ca kind of comedian are you? I like to think I do, like, blue, absurd humor. Um, Weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And how about you, Joey? Uh, how did you get into this comedy stuff? And uh, why? And what's your style? Uh, basically, uh, as a French person, uh, the industry of comedy in uh, French Quebec is pretty strong. Uh, I grew up watching them, like the Mike Ward, Sylvain Larocque, all those guys. Uh, what kind of gave me the impulse to do comedy at some point was to watch Stick and Stones from Dave Chappelle. That was comedy perform at the highest level I never saw in my life. So I was like, I want to do this. And they uh, were kind of a dare. I was, uh, we really wanted to try like to do open mics. So that was my 2020 uh, New Year resolution. You know, just to add a bit of cheese on a, on on all on top of all that. So I went to the Comedy Nest uh, like six weeks in a row. I saw Victoria there a couple of times, I think. And uh, yeah, and then after that, I got my first open mic chance when I wrote my stupid question on comedy from Montreal uh, group on Facebook. And some guys uh, from Cornwall, Justin Roberge, basically booked me on his show. And I went there with uh, some guy, uh, some comedian from Montreal, uh, Laurent Lake. And the rest is history. Okay. And Victoria, I, my understanding is from the pre-interview interview, interview yes. is that you told me that you started off at the Comedy Nest and at Hurley's. An open mic night. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. It, we, we did a pre-interview. My mind just goes blank when we okay. go live. Um, yes, I did do... Uh, <laughs> Joey's laughing at me. Okay, so this is, becoming sure. a stand this is becoming a stand-up skit on it by itself here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I started at the Comedy Nest. Um, I just sent in like an email. I was like, hey, what's your... How does it work to be a comedian? And they were like, the they, they were like, you have to give us your name and number, and and we can reach you. So I did, but by doing that, I essentially signed up for uh, Newbie Tuesday. And they were like, you 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 can be on next week or in two weeks. And I was in my finals, and I was like, if I can do this now, then it's gonna it, it's gonna be like something I can do. Like if I can manage to go through this in like a hard time uh i could do this so i had like two weeks to write like a five minute set and mm. i perform it was really okay. it was really fun people awesome. laughed i was so surprised okay but you see the thing in comedy is that you have to be careful because people are laughing i'm not saying this is like geared towards you personally but you know when people are laughing does it mean they're laughing at your jokes or they, uh, are they laughing at you you know it's you really hard to t a lot of people were really drunk uh, oh, that's why they were laughing. I don't at know the why nest? they were laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never figured that the nest would be that kind of place where you get pissed drunk to watch comedy. No, but there was a, like a frat party or something. There was just a bunch oh, of drunk guys. Yeah. yeah, it's not too far from uh, Concordia University. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, your influences, Victoria, from my understanding, again, are Nora McDonald. James A. Castor, he's that British guy. You got Maria Banford as well, and Jenny Slate. Yes. Among others. So yes. in, in which way have these guys influenced you? Um, so like Norm has this really fun way of doing like extremely dirty raw comedy. And then sometimes he'll like go on a roast or something and he, he won't swear. He won't say anything dirty or graphic. And like okay. he could just juggle these two things so well. So that's one thing. Uh, James was actually like, uh, James A. Castor was the, the st stand-up show that I watched that really uh, pushed me to, to start because it was just so creative and artistic. He does like, a, he, he, his stand-up show was actually for one, uh, a, a hour, an hour and a half shows that he would do. People would buy a ticket and it would be, they would come on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And he would just do like different ones. And that was like his tour. I don't know, just the whole format and everything. It really inspired me. 
Well, that's sorry. awesome. And Joey, did, uh, I'm sorry, forgive me. Uh, uh, did we ask you who, who your influences were? Not yet. Okay, well, you know what? Consider it done. Who are your influences? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, as I said, uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, Mike Ward, my favorite Salud. comedian when I was younger. Salud. Uh, yeah, right? Salud. Salud. I'll try to uh, spell, do, do some name dropping while drinking. Go ahead. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, because uh, the way he do, does comedy is, uh, for me is a complete package. Like he acts really great. His timing is perfect. No words is useless in his sets. Like uh, the break he takes, it's always the way he do, does his misdirection. Like he's so imprevisible, like uh, unpredictable. Like is one of the guys you never see coming. His punchline. Uh, Mitch Edberg mainly because uh, his punchline are so absurdly uh, ridiculous. Like uh, one of my favorite jokes from him, and it's there is no dirty jokes. It's just like absurdly stupid jokes. Like he one once one of my friend asked me if I wanted a frozen banana, so I said <laughs> no. But I remember that at some point I'd like a regular banana, so I said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always stuff like that, like. Quick liners, <laughs> no sequence. Uh, Anthony Jeselnik, big fan of this guy. He does a lot of dark comedy liners. So that's more like the type of stuff I'll do right now. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Carr, big fan of Jimmy Carr. And this guy is so efficient. He can't make you laugh with two words. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. He's that good. Yeah. So, so he's your kind of... Uh, th these guys are your... You're, you're a stand-up comedian that you guys can relate to over here. Yeah. Okay, so, hey, you guys are also, uh, you're all over the place. You're also part of the Dirty Four podcast with Silvio, with Claudio Silvio Capri. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Peter, and, and Peter Bowen. And Peter Bowen. Oh, my God, forgive me, Pete. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll get it right. There is Claudio Silvio Capri, Peter Bowen, Victoria Blair, and Joey the Fireball. Mm, so right. You guys have your own podcast. Yes. Okay. Tell us all about your podcast. What goes on in there? Uh, it's basically us <laughs> shooting the shit. Like the idea of the podcast <laughs> is uh, it's all started. Oh, God damn it. It all started. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> stop it, Joey. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop. I was about to say the F word. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, it all started when the confinement uh, began. Uh, we end up with nothing better to do than do a writing comedy uh, session. Mm -hmm. uh, we were doing it uh, weekly every Monday. And there were an hour where we're being serious and trying our jokes and trying to figure out how to get those jokes better. But there was always another another hour, like we just didn't do anything productive and just <laughs> chatting around, joking around, that kind of stuff. And we kind of figured that'd be a great podcast to do do it like that, like just having fun, just saying stupid stuff on uh, online. So think, just okay. just being crazy. I Hey, I'd like to give out a little shout to Skyflame28. Thank you very much for joining us, Skyflame. Skyflame, where are you from? I'm just curious. Can you let us know where you're from? Spoiler alert, it's Peter. It's, it's Peter. Peter. <laughs> Peter, Skyflame is Peter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, Peter. Man of a thousand disguises. <laughs> yes. He is. He truly is. <laughs> and, and the beautiful and lovely Patty Saragosa has joined us. Hello. Hi, uh, Patty. Thanks for joining us. Patty is my co-star in the Rob and Patty Live on Friday nights and nice. on the Daily Struggles as well. Yeah. Hmm. And She's Patty, right. oh my God, you're going to see a lot of torque in this woman coming up Wednesday night. Wait, watch, the Wednesday in the morning it's going to be up. You're going to hmm. see how strong this woman is. I mean, she, all, all five feet of her, I think she's five feet. Anyways, I don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> I won't say four nine. I was going to say five feet. Anyway, all five with, feet of her. With woman, you can get in trouble with uh, the weight, not the height. Oh, no, not with the height. Not the height. I think you're fine. But the, well, if yeah. you mess up the weight, though, you can be in really bad shape. Well, pa Patty hasn't reacted yet, and I'm getting a little worried. Oh, uh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, uh, as long as she doesn't react, I'll be fine. Okay, yeah. uh, guys, tell me uh, now. There's talk that you guys want to take this to another level. This um, 
Uh, but the Dirty Four, you want to make something live out of it? Uh, we actually do something live out of it. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, oh, you mean as a show? Uh, yeah, yeah, as a like show, yeah, yeah. Live, oh, like yeah, away true. from the keyboard, like, outside. Oh, yeah, <laughs> outside. <laughs> Where is that? No, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but basically, um, we did, uh, we're actually starting an open mic night. Uh, it's at uh, Pots St. Paul, Old Montreal. It's starting the 6th of August. If you think you're funny, you can just send us an email and we put you on on our show uh don't need to do, don't need to do anything degrading just think you're funny and we're put you on <laughs> so uh so and basically it's uh you you go all in if you're funny as long as you're funny you can go as far as you want in any type of subjects i don't uh personally i don't care the the other dirty four i'm pretty sure they don't care either yeah. since i'm still on the podcast so and if if you're not funny and you just want to try to be funny you, there's a spot for you yeah, oh, yeah? For sure. oh my god for you. oh yeah <laughs> you'd be hey. surprised how many comedians are boring in real life but once on stage they're killing oh yeah. okay because they're a little bit more extroverted by the way patty says hi to you guys hey patty howdy howdy <laughs> howdy, howdy patty howdy. Patty, you're gonna show these guys how tough you are, huh? You think you're tough, right? Hey guys, look, I, I'm paraphrasing. Is she, is she doing a wrestling show? You keep saying how tough and strong she is. You know what? Hey, you, you know what my dream is, Patty. <laughs> I'm putting this out to you. I want to have her fight in a mud wrestling scene. Patty, hey, oh, I I'll got fight it. Her. I would love Patty, that. Patty, Vicky <laughs> wants to fight you in a mud wrestling scene. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna get ten thousand views. Oh. <laughs> Patty, are you on? Patty, Patty, Patty. A mud wrestling scene between Vicky and Patty. <laughs> hey, Joey. Joey. Yes? We're going to make it rich, man. We're going to be rich with this. Oh, my God. This is reaction. Mud wrestling, for sure. <laughs> it's like wrestling in the 90s. Where are you yeah. going to get the mud? Uh, Guys, you know what? You just tell me you're in, and we'll figure out. Joey and I, and with the rest of the Dirty Four, we'll figure out the rest. Yeah. Are you in or not? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Patty, you can't take, see. No, you can't back down, Patty. Ha ha. I'll take care of the wrestling tight and stuff. But since I'm cheap, uh, there's possibility you'll have to do it naked. Did you no, see what you said? I want to wear a muumuu. And uh, what's a muumuu? That's not happening. It's what? like a like a nightgown or something. Are you kidding me? I'm shy no. with my body. No, yes. you gotta wear a bathing suit, Patty. No. Can I wear a wetsuit like to go d diving? A wet not only. Not only no, forbidden word no. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, you're going against the rules. We have certain rules, me and Joey over here. Eh? Hey, uh, yeah. Patty said she's on, so we're, we're going to pre prepare the paperwork after the show. Can oh I wear a God. ski suit? A what suit? A ski <laughs> suit. A ski suit. Oh, my God. You know how warm it's going to be in there? A ski yeah, well, at least suit. you're not going to see me. Oh, my That's God. Okay. So we got one crazy thing going. We got a mud wrestling match between Patty and Vicky over here. Uh, in and our ski suits. Not nope. your ski suits. No, nope, that's suit, not happening. I, I'm sure a lot of guys would love to see women wrestling in the mud in ski suits. Yeah, and you can't deny them nobody. that. Nobody. Because, because no one suit. caters to them. So. No. Yeah, but they are, because they don't exist. They exist. <laughs> no, they don't. It's a okay. fantasy. It's in your head. No, There's I, no I, such people. It's my fantasy that they exist. <laughs> exactly. Hey, guys, how skimpy are, are these bathing suits going to be? Maybe you can have the audience vote over here. Do, uh, what kind of bathing suits are you going to wear? Skimpy? Not one like piece a, suit. Like a 1800s type of thing. 1800s. Amish girl vibe, you know. Okay, Amish. Oh, my God, Amish. Okay. Uh, tell me you're not opening a strip club. Uh, who are you talking to? Me? Victoria. I'm not. I'm not. You're not okay. Opening. Thanks, huh? God, for that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, okay, guys. I have here that Vicky's aspiration is to be a headliner in these comedy clubs. Yes. I would love to be a headliner. I would love to do, like, a nation tours like do all of canada or the us or like the uk or something i would love to go to the Hedenburg festival Hedenburg, what's that it's the french festival it's like a big um it's not a comedy festival but the stand-up comedians have sort of taken over 
it's just a fringe art festival where like anyone that has like this sort of edgy just goes there um and apparently like you can perform in the street you can perform like do you have huge stadiums small venues and you can just do like show after show after show for like 24 hours oh okay 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 that's something uh, that sounds very interesting okay so we talked about mud wrestling we talked about uh uh, a lot of things, comedy, but yeah. Joey, you're a web designer, so uh, yeah, you know, tell us exactly what services you might be offering the public out here, and it's time to plug yourself, buddy. Two dollars for I uh, know I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars a second. I was about to forget it's a family uh, yes. show. So basically, yeah, what I do is I'm a programmer. Uh, mainly, I use web technologies. Now I'm going to geek out some people. So uh, I do front-end and back-end programming. Uh, I can maintain a web server like a Linux system, Apache web, ser Apache web server, I usually use Nginx. So I can build a website, maintain it, make sure that people will come on it like uh, using SEO optimized uh, stuff. But uh, yeah, we can talk about it later because uh, web, web programming can be a bit boring for, you know, I'm pretty no, sure. I... This is interesting. I, this is I interesting. love hearing about Linux. Tell us more. What is it named after? Uh, the guy that invented it is called Linus Torvald. So. <laughs> That's such a nerdy name. <laughs> <laughs> he's Swedish, you racist. <laughs> uh, he, he's a Swedish. But actually, he's born in Finland, but his family is Swedish. Okay. You know, every time you, you guys, anybody talks about Sweden, there's the group ABBA that comes out, the Volvo yeah. and IKEA. Ooh, I love IKEA. I, 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 how about you, Joe? You like IKEA too? Oh uh, yeah, cheap, uh, cheap furniture that you not swear against to make it works. Beautiful, uh, affordable furniture, Joe. And I Peace love. Of... Wait, yeah. <laughs> I <of> love. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't tease me, please. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I love the danishes they got there. Oh mm. my god, they're so delicious. And they also have that what is it that 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 cake or is it a pie? It, it's not dainty, but it's something about grandma or aunt something. It is yummy, 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 yummy. It's so good. Uh, what goes in that pie? Uh sawdust? I don't know. No. I don't know. No, it's very delicious. The the, the IKEA mm. uh, pie. Yeah. The uh, the cake it is absolutely delicious, guys. I recommend it. Uh, you have IKEA's. The IKEA's I know um, that are around here in the South Shore. There's one in Boucherville, mm. and there's one at the Rockland Center, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Hmm, don't remember the had one, but uh, I was getting there to work, and after that I was out, so I didn't take the time to visit. Okay. But I've heard that IKEA also have a Swedish meatball. Oh my God! Hey, they oh, they're it's delicious. Really so good. Mm. Yeah. They make they're making vegan ones now and vegan hot dogs. How can you make a vegan hot dog? What do you put in there? Grass? What do you do? I know, right? That's what I'm, uh, me and Claudio we're trying to tell her. Plants? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is yeah, it? It cannot be meatball if it's to vegan. Be rude! You're just I'm... rude, you guys. No, but you cannot, not you cannot do a vegan meatball because there's missing one main component of the meatball, the the meat. The meat. Yeah. So it's just a ball then. Just a ball of crap. Uh, poop. Of <laughs> just a ball of poop. <laughs> so, so for for those of you who don't real, realize what's going on here, uh, Victoria <laughs> is a vegan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shutterbug Mary, good evening. Hello. Thanks Hi, for Shutterbug. tuning in. Shutterbug is uh, one of our uh, YouTube friends, and I'm sure you oh. guys must know Shutterbug Mary. I don't no? know Shutterbug Mary. But if you that guys know, I'm, I'm going to do some plugging now. Rob Black AF, he's a great YouTuber. You go on the Ange TV show. There's also Kevin King. He's got his own uh, podcast as well on YouTube. And Shutterbug Mary, you guys got to go on to her YouTube channel. Show her some love. Go on and click the likes. Give her the blue thumb. Give her great comments for her video. She has great stuff on the YouTube channel. So you guys don't want to miss that. Thanks for tuning in, Shutterbug. Yeah. Okay. So listen, um, 
Victoria. Yes. You're a student at UCAM. Yes. And you're studying in linguistics. Yes. You're just about done. No, well, I'm about done my bachelor's, but then I have to go do my master's in speech therapy. But also, I oh. really want to do stand up. So we'll see if I burn out first. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, Victoria, you're going against yourself because if you're going to go uh, into speech therapy, then your mm. jokes are just going to clean right up. You're going to have clean jokes. Mm. So, you know, you, you really want to do this? So think it over. You know, speech therapy, you don't want to clean up your act. That's how you're living, you're living in the comedy clubs, right? <laughs> And they're also working as a volunteer at a coronavirus center. Yeah. Um, what do you? What do you? A testing center. A testing center. There yeah, you go. Yeah, where people where people go to just to get the thing put up their nose and their throat to see if they have COVID. Okay. So so tell us what you've been seeing lately. You were talking about the uh, there's a second wave coming, and you yeah. got some, some proof of that. So like at first there was a lot of of people like waiting in line for like two hours to get tested and all those people had uh symptoms um and then about a month ago we started seeing less of those and there was actual days where like i had nothing to do and like the only people that would come in were asymptomatic and they just wanted to get tested for the hell of it and starting this week we've started to get like a lot of people with symptoms again today oh. there was like 400 people um and they, they yeah the the type of symptoms were like you're like hey what's your name and they can't even tell you their name because they're out of breath oh my god you know? okay um so i i think that there's a second wave coming like right now like it's happening right now guys is is there going to be an end to this is the virus you know a bit like the, the, we had sars we had another uh what was it the e coli as well uh mers uh, and SARS, if i remember yeah okay. h1n1 SARS. is still around also okay but but it's not as powerful it's dying out right mm. so is this well yes this is definitely what we're hoping for this coronavirus is like in a you know wear itself out slowly so you know it's a it's going to self-destruct eventually, yeah. right? Can't yeah, the other coronavirus, like stress and MERS, they kind of been gone away with the season. Like, yeah, we don't yeah. have any vaccine for that also. Gone uh, like uh, H1N1. And that's what happened with the Spanish flu. Like, the second wave was hmm. worse than the first wave, but then there was no third wave. After that, it was done. Yeah. Okay, it, it just like went away by itself. Yeah, they but, had uh, like they got sick, and then the summer after there was a second wave. But then the summer after that, it was it was over. Jesus, is there an end to this? But the uh, Spanish flu is an influenza type of virus. Yeah, it's the same. Coronavirus. Well, it's not the same, but it's no, it's, it's not similar. Uh, yeah, it's similar. Okay, so there, there's influenza. Same... We have vaccine for that though. Okay, yeah, there is, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess Victoria Blair would know better uh, than us, right? Yeah, for no, sure. No, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I just went on a website and I put my name and phone number and they called me back and they were like, do you want to put data for us? Do you want to like do something? And I was like, yes. So I don't I don't have any. I can just see stuff and I ask questions, but I don't have any background. OK. In hmm. Medical stuff. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of people being tested, a lot of people coming back, and there are this, and the second wave is is going to hit harder. Is that what you think? Yeah, I think so. Like right now, I don't know if you guys know, but in in uh, Brassard, there was a, a bar that opened, and uh, they didn't follow the distanciation rules, and it was packed, and mm. five people went there that they knew they had coronavirus. Oh, beautiful, awesome! Tested. Yeah, where to go, champs? And yeah. they stayed there until close. They they just like talked to everyone. Apparently, some of the them were like making out with guys and oh, like nice, beautiful. Now it's like uh, and I'm being sorry. I, I don't want to. I don't want to swear, but it's it's bad. In, uh, obviously, guys, I, I am being sarcastic. Okay, because uh, that is disgusting. That is totally irresponsible yeah. behavior on the part of these people over here. I just I'm disgusted with that. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I think that these people should uh, get reprimanded for that because knowingly you got coronavirus and you're going to go around giving it to others. Yeah. That is totally stupid. 
What Sorry. is that like negligence or I don't know? Like it's it's it feels serious, you know. If 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 I had AIDS or something, I wouldn't go around giving it to people. Well, you're responsible, but but then yeah. again, these people are probably frustrated. You know what? The ship is going down. And I'm gonna take others with me. You know? Yeah. 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 But you, it's not even necessary. You're gonna die for it, fall. So what's the logic of taking anybody with you if you're not dying of that stuff? It's just, it's just to be, uh, it's some people selfish. are, yeah, yeah, it's bad intent, evil intent, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to not get in the conversation because I know I'm going to throw a couple of f bomb if I get into it and I get really pissed. <laughs> no, it's the clean show, guys. It's it I'm is. trying. Hey. I was just like, <laughs> like all the time we were talking, you were talking. I was like, oh, he's biting his tongue. Involved, get, get involved, then get involved. <laughs> he, he, he's biting his tongue, man. He won't be able to speak in a few minutes if this keeps up. You're hey, doing guys. a great job, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you got a half hour to go, please. You got a half hour. <laughs> hey, guys, you know what? I I just thought of something. You know, this is a subject that uh, we can bring up and have fun with, um, guys. Uh, today. The dating scene is much different than it was many years ago, okay? So you take a guy who's single or, or a girl who's single these days and wants to start a new relationship. What are the do's and don'ts? We're going to give Joey a, a shot at giving us a, a, an answer to that. Then, Victoria, will get your take on that. What are the do's and don'ts for a guy who wants to date, go on in the dating scene and get back to this one? In uh, no, no, don't do crystal meth beforehand. Okay. Don't drink, uh, don't smoke. Uh, I guess <laughs> I haven't been dating for eight years because I'm with the same girlfriend, so you know, I wouldn't know oh, for sure. Oh, that's yeah. cute, eight years. Oh, and you know what, guys, I did, I did 30 years with one woman as a married man, 36. Whoa. Oh. That's older than me. I know, for God's <laughs> sake. Yeah, You're but not then... 23, though. So that's not older. That's as old as you. There you he go. You said 36. Yeah, 36. Uh... Ah, yeah, yeah, it's older. Do you think I'm 36? No, no. You, you, well, 36. Yeah. You know, again, Joey, I, I had to bite me. I, hey, Joey, <laughs> we were thinking the same thing. I had to bite my tongue here. <laughs> Victoria, you know exactly what we were thinking, right? <laughs> Okay. No, 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 I know she was just joking, so that's I why know. I start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> we don't want to get into trouble here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I, yes, I was with this woman for 36 years, all in all, and 30 years married to her. And okay. I'm realizing I need a shitload of more light over here because uh, this light is not strong enough over here. Anyways, it's okay. We'll look into that for next week. Too late now. Uh, or, a light, or I can start changing the light bulbs and you guys have a chat between yourselves. No, we'll do it next week. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, to go back on the dating scene, okay? Uh, you know, 36 years, I was off the market. I'm on the market now. And there's a lot of do's and don'ts, apparently, that you got to do. But a guy who, what worked back then doesn't work anymore right now. Yeah. So, Victoria, what's your take on what, what turns you off if a guy, you know, he comes up to you and, uh, you know, he wants to cruise you or whatever, what's the turn off a guy should not be doing in 2020? Oh, I, I, I have a lot of boundaries. So uh, the don'ts would be stuff like call me on my phone. That's a big don't. Um, what? You prefer texting? What? The what? Yes, I prefer texting. I've had like, like sort of like you know beginnings of dating with guys and they tried to call me on the phone i'm like i, I can't do this i just <laughs> a quick one do they have to sign a contract before dating you <laughs> no they're not aware of this <laughs> oh, yeah but put it out there <laughs> but you, you got a boyfriend right yes so you're oh, poor bastard <laughs> <laughs> hey he's very happy i'll have you know <laughs> i'm sure yeah. he is yeah but and now that you accepted to the mud wrestling challenge with patty he's gonna be even happier right yes. is he gonna be there <laughs> for sure he supports me no matter how dumb it is what i'm doing oh my god you're such a lucky woman he goes what? to all my my open mics what? even if he has work the next day like he's just always there he rushes from work like he's amazing wow he's super is, is he about your age yeah he's turning 30 in august oh there you go okay i'm 30 
So, and what is it? That, so, not twenty three. By the way, I want to acknowledge Mr. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. Newman Outdoors who has joined us. Hello, thank you for tuning in, uh, my friend, our friend. Thank you. Um, okay, so that's the the don'ts. How about the do's, Joey? Take what a shower. You do? Take, take a shower take before I. <laughs> for God's it. sake. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't start talking for like uh, the whole day because you're gonna you're going to sound obnoxious for sure. Oh yeah, that's a huge yeah. Don't, like if don't, if it... don't bring her in a sports bar. Okay. Even if she says that she's a fan of sports, she doesn't want it. Trust me. Huh? Uh, I don't okay. know. Why do women say something that they don't want? Well, Everything. it's like it's like she she she's like, oh yeah, I like a sports bar. That doesn't mean it's a good idea for a date, though. Yeah, so you always got to do the opposite of what you say. Like exactly. you can go for to a sports bar once you're in the relationship, but if you're trying to get in the relationship, don't go somewhere where you're gonna pay more attention to something else than her. You know, like another uh, one? like cinema is a bad uh, place for a date. Yeah, it is. Uh, another another tip though. I know I do comedy. Her mom is like, what? <laughs> I know that I do comedy. Uh -huh. But don't bring your first date in a comedy night, especially <laughs> at the front row of the, the scene. <laughs> especially, especially when you can shut up b the, during an act. Oh, yeah. my God. You're not getting late after that night, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, guys, listen. Uh, is it a good idea to sit in the front row when you go to a comedy uh, show? Oh, it is. That Why? Love, for our first date. I love, I love sitting in the front row. Yeah, yeah, but you know you can get picked on very easily, right, uh, Vic? I oh my know. God. I got picked on by Eddie King this one time. At, uh, oh, my God. Hey. That's so nice. I didn't, uh, I didn't have a good time, he, though. Like, he was really, like... Uh, what did he, like he, what he, he said? He picked on me at first. He was like, did anyone go to the environment march? And I didn't say anything and no one did because they all knew it was like a setup to get roasted. But my boyfriend was like, she went, she went to the fucking march. So then like Eddie's like uh, started like being like, oh, you went um, all these white ladies going to the, the environment march. They don't really care about, um, oh. about like black people and like, yeah. uh, real stuff that's going on in their world. And like, I wanted to answer him so bad that like, I didn't hear the rest don't. of his set. Like it was oh. just, don't. I was just like, I know that's exactly what was going in my head. I was like, don't do it. But I was like, I had so many arguments I wanted to say. Yeah, but it's not a university debate school, so, you know, know. it's not that place. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't think half of what he said. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a weird set. But then, like, also, I'm not a very good uh, audience member at comedy shows. Oh, um, really? That's I'm, funny. I, I, I always, like, answer and, like, I drink too much. You I'm drink too much. <laughs> what can I, a, vegan, a vegan who drinks too much. Uh, what is the alcohol made from? Like vegetables, celery? Uh, you know, uh, no? Carrot? Carrot alcohol? It's made from green. From green. Hmm. What is your wine? I, I, made from? Speaking of which, guys, I think it's time that we raise the glass to these two beautiful and talented guests on my show tonight. Yes, yeah, he is very beautiful. He's a Salud. beautiful guy, isn't he? He's got a nice haircut. Yeah. You look like someone who stopped drinking. Oh, my God. With the neck beard? Damn. He, sta he stopped drinking before he came on the show, right? <laughs> I, stopped, I stopped drinking and I went on drinking again. That's, why, uh, that's how I look like. <laughs> so, Victoria Blair, are you at your... In, well, you must be in your condo. Is uh, that... No, I'm in an apartment with like two roommates. Oh, you, kind of, okay. you kind of missed the, the part she said she's a student. There's no way she yeah. has the money to pay for her condo if she's a student. Well, maybe her parents are rich. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> They're really not. Really <laughs> not. <laughs> she's at the U camp for, for Christ's sake. <laughs> super not. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay, so so uh, we're talking in terms of, of a guy, right? We'll go to Victoria for this because mm. she's, a, she's a female. So she's got a date. The guy didn't phone her. He texted her, right? Yes. So he, he, he's doing well so far. So the, 
He, he's not planning on taking you to a sports bar. He's scoring points, you know? Yes. Yeah, and he's not going to take you to a hockey game or a movie. So he's doing well so far, right? Yeah. He shows up with flowers. You find that tacky? Uh, I mean, it's nice to... It's nice. But it feels a bit like the, the... I feel like when a guy brings you flowers, it feels a bit like you're being worshipped. Oh. So, like, sometimes I'll be like, this is nice. But then if I'm feeling, like, uh, a bit low, I'll be like, why are you bringing me flowers? I don't deserve these. So, like, um, I don't know. Bring, Especially... bring flowers or don't. But, like, don't do it on the first date, I would say. No. Red... Unless, you're, unless you're that kind of person that really goes all out. You know. Red roses. Can you imagine the guy shows up with red roses, a bouquet, a dozen of red roses? I like daisies and stuff. Mm. Daisies? You like dandelions? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the guy shows up with dandelions in your first, first day, and, and he brings a bottle of wine. Look, I made wine with, with these dandelions. Can you imagine? Dandelion wine. So how, yeah. how Is much? Is he vegan? He sounds vegan. There's some <laughs> There's some dandelion and there's some wine I make in my bathtub. Oh no! Oh my goodness! So that, that, that let's that's hope a... you don't turn blind. <laughs> so that's a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. Right. I guess. So yeah. so uh, so Vic, how? Okay, the guy has texted and not phoned you. He shows up. How does the guy supposed? To, how is he supposed to present himself? When he shows up, yeah, the, like like in a three piece suit with a tie, no, white shoes, norm, normal <laughs> clean clothes with like a clean face and clean hair, just like be clean, you okay. know, like wash your stuff. What would Joey stand a chance? Because he's got a beard. You like bearded guys? Yes. Really, Joey, yeah. you're onto something here. Joey. <laughs> so, so so Joey, let, let's say uh, we'll do the opposite here. There's a girl sure. coming over your house because these days apparently girls take out guys on dates too, right? That's from what I hear, right? Uh, yeah, it's, that's kind of weird, but they do, mate. Now they do, yeah. eh? Yeah. Okay, it's the COVID virus. Don't worry about it. Okay, so a girl shows <laughs> up at your place, Joey. Yeah. I, and and she, she's taking you out. She's she, taking me out. Yeah, she shows up with her what? car. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She, shows, she shows up in a 2017 Mustang. Joey's okay. out. He's like a very traditional guy. I don't think. Oh uh, no! You that. you take you take the woman out. You pay for her food. You're, you're being a gentleman. I mean, the heck. Well, is there such thing as a gentlewoman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a uh, I saw in a mafia movie uh, a way to test it. It's like basically you get her first in a car. Mm -hmm. Your door is locked. If she okay, extends her arm, be this is a clean to show. A Bronx sale. A Bronx sale. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. If she extends her arm to unlock it, that means she's a keeper. If she just stay there and watch you uh, fight for your keys and get your keys out, dump her. So that's what your girlfriend did to you? Joy? Nah, I don't have a car, so I didn't do that test. <laughs> <laughs> well, did she open the bus door when the bus comes? Exactly. I opened the bus door. I just <laughs> did the, I, I did the motion, and my finger a finger got uh, stuck. So yeah, the whole night at the hospital that was so romantic. Wow! So was I was cursing my, my my night through because my finger were broke. Oh no! How it's how bad is the story though? <laughs> it's not a true story. No, it's not. <laughs> no, you, you spoiled all the fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, no, fir first date that was in a punk bar uh, for some reason. And we had a lot of fun. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. yeah as, as quick and as easy as that. A punk bar? What, what we you, had... Did you dance? You don't dance in a punk bar. You drink, <laughs> you talk, you have fun. And you fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I fight some skin. No, uh, basically, uh, <laughs> no, we just we just drank a couple of beer. We talked. Okay. We had fun. We and kissed. You and you then fought. We, uh, <laughs> well, I, the, the last part, I cannot say it on this uh, on this show, but uh, we forbidden word. <clears throat> forbidden word. Yeah, we forbidden uh, word. The F word. Okay, you, uh, yeah. you went to church. No. You didn't no. go to church. <laughs> 
No, okay. I'd like to do that he, in he church. Did, he did a, he did a no, mass. come on, guy. You don't want to, <laughs> no, guys, that's no place to do that thing in a church. There, come on, really. No, you're not in the church. Come on. Okay, man. I'll it stop there because fun. I stopped there because it's a, it's a family show. Yeah. But, you know, I wouldn't be the first. <laughs> well, I don't know <laughs> if it's done before, but uh, come on. For God's sake. I, I won't touch on it, but that's as far I as I'm I going. I saw it on How I Met Your Mother. How did you meet my mother? No, no, it's the ah. end of the show. <laughs> 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 hey Victoria, hang on a sec. Uh, were you just wearing glasses not long ago? Yeah, I took them off because like it hurts me with my uh, ear headphones. You, but but you, I can still see you guys. My Victoria, you you you, you sound so Italian. You you hang out with Italians or what? I I well I mean I talked to Claudio, you, but like you, you even stutter person. like an Italian. You even stutter like an Italian. Really? Yeah. Ladies know. and gentlemen, this is Miss Vicky's, the one who makes the chipster. That's her. It's her, Victoria Blair in person. I guys, cut don't... them extra thick for you guys. Yeah, You're see, welcome. What's the best flavor, Vic? What's the best what? Yeah, the best flavor, Miss Vicky's there. The jalapenos. The jalapenos. Jalapenos. Spicy woman. Ha jalapenos. 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 You said, okay. Hey, jalapenos. Hey, that said jalapenos. Hey, don't, don't Speak. Don't Speak what? Caucasian, okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out just how good Jovi is with veganism, right? Jack ah, started to strike ah, on this ah. first pitch. Joey, what's the typical vegan meal? Ah, ah. Okay. What's the typical vegan it's, meal? Um, yeah. I, I can describe it uh, with uh, some poesy there. Uh, basically, for me, a vegan, a vegan meal, how it looks like, it's a call for help. It's a call for help. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it's look like despair, tastes like sadness. Oh. And you digest it like a suicide note. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, so, in other words, you're telling me you don't like veganism. And by the way, Claudio has asked that you put back your glasses. <laughs> Miss Vicky. I'm not going to do that, Claudio, because it hurts my ears. It and hurts. I'll be giving you some words later. Oh, <laughs> and a word got. Hey, Claudio. Hey, and ladies and gentlemen, for you, for you people who have just tuned in, uh, an exciting announcement because, uh, oh my God, this is going to be exciting. Uh, my co star, Patty, and, um, and uh, Victoria Blair agreed to have a mud wrestling match. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got to film that. We got to, that's going to be, it's going to be epic. We're getting 10,000 views. What yes. are we doing it for? Is it for. Leukemia it, or something? No, it's, it's for, for men's fun. pleasure. Men's pleasure. It's, it's for yeah. it's for ED. We're doing it for ED. ED? <laughs> what's that for? What's, what's it's good? okay. No, I I, I I I don't think I should have. No, no, uh, no. It's a family show. Can you say it? Can she say it? <laughs> Can she say it? ED? ED? She's gonna tell me off here. Uh, and then if it's if it's fit, I'll tell you guys after. When she's off the air. Edie. <laughs> I never thought that I would be the one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I, I always dreamed of seeing a mud wrestling match in person, and this is it, finally. There we go. Jenny Duhame, the beloved Jenny Duhame, my producer of the show. Hello, lovely. Thanks for being with us. Jenny, Jenny Duhame, we had a blast here with Victoria Blair and Joey Laflamme. I don't know if you missed the part. Where um, early on the show, uh, v uh, Victoria Blair and Patty Saragosa agreed to have a mud wrestling match. This is going to be epic, uh, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. I have a question. What, what are the rules? Is it like a first one down or is it like a first uh, blood? I don't it's know. like Greek wrestling, though. So no, no. she has to. Is it uh, like one a cage you, match? Uh, no, third count. No, no. A three count. No? Uh, yeah, there's no count. It's 20 minutes of excitement. They just keep fighting until I see stuff. But what happens if uh, one of them is doing a darchy, uh, darchy choke or uh, I don't know, a humbug? The darchy choke? What's Archie the choke? choke? <laughs> uh, no, Darcy, Darcy choke. No, 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 no. This is not UFC, girls. It's for fun. It's for fun. Oh, they don't, they're not trying to kill each other. <laughs> no, all, no, of a sudden, no. all of a sudden, it's way less fun. <laughs> no, 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 guys. Look, it's going to be a clean mud wrestling match. 
And and uh, you know what? Only soap. <laughs> Clean mud wrestling match. All that can happen. Yeah, it's no problem, Jen. Don't worry about it. No problem. Green can process it. Yeah, well, yeah. So that's going to be uh, so exciting, and maybe we can have that as a uh, as an episode of Daily Struggles, uh, Patty. Who knows? Huh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we have a mud, be funny. We have a mud wrestling match going. We got Victoria, who works as a volunteer at a testing center for COVID, mm. and and Victoria can't wait to have her glass. No, guys, are you talking about choking? Guys, Jenny wants to know if you're talking about choking. Elaborate, Joey. Because Joey said there was this uh, wrestling move called the artichoke. Ah, the Darcy choke. I missed it for the Darcy choke. It's an actual move. It's not like, wrestling. It's uh, jujitsu. I, know, I like the artichoke better. Yeah, yeah it, I'm sure you do. No, you no, no you. violence. <laughs> you, 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 you just put some lemon on her. <laughs> Jenny's asking us if we need to use mud. Eh? Do we need uh, to? We need to use mud. Could, could it be soap bubbles? Could it be like a? I don't know. A, a dish soap. I don't that's know. Kind of, that's kind of the point of uh, mud wrestling, though. Mud yeah, wrestling mud, without mud, mud is yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to be exciting. I'm telling you, we're going to we're going to pop twenty thousand views easily, and uh, I'm off to Hollywood after that. <laughs> oh, for sure. So please take us with you. Well, guys, if you perform well enough, I'll be taking you with me. Um, the power is already getting to his head. Uh, <laughs> wow, hey, eh? an hour and, uh, you know, yeah, jello. we already know each other. But oh. I'm vegan. We can't have jello, please. Oh, what are you talking about? You can't have ve a vegan jello. What? There's dead animals in that, too? What the heck? Oh, yeah, it's made from ground up bones. Chocolate so, pudding, that is amazing. Chocolate so it's already pudding. dead. Eat, eat that. Stop being uh, picky. They're all already dead. Joey. Yeah, they are already dead. They, 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 they will throw away the bones. You want that? Is that what you want? Throw away nice piece of uh, food? Hey, yes. guys, guys. Chocolate pudding instead of mud. You could actually eat your way out of there, you know? With, I, with soy milk? Oh, Maybe look at so this. Here, she, here we go again now with this veganism. And she's, go yeah. and she's going to cry because she uh, she took 30 pounds uh, on our podcast. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And you know what? Okay. You notice that? No, because <laughs> if you eat your way out of a uh, chocolate <laughs> pudding uh, ring, you're going to gain 30 pounds for sure. And See, you're going to cry. Said, Jenny said bell soy. Yeah. Bell soy. That's, hey, a, guys. that's a soy pudding. <laughs> there you go. DK chocolate is her favorite. Delicious. Stop perverting food. That's what veganism is doing. Perverting food. Wow. Turning I feel, food into I feel like a, a, a lot of people were already eating like that. Like probably ach. the majority of people on earth. The majority That's of people disgusting. eating vegan? Are you kidding me? Yeah. In Asia, they eat a lot of vegan food. Oh my God! They probably yeah. Don't. And look at them; they're sick every two years. <laughs> oh, <my> God, <laughs> oh, you can't say that. <laughs> hey guys, you know what? I think it's time to plug yourselves. Go on. Oh. So, uh, Victoria, you're going to be uh, performing somewhere sometime soon, which is I'm going to be performing online on uh, Luke Does Your Jokes. Uh, it's going to be on July 11th. Because I know which month it is. It's July. We're gonna be on July eleventh, uh, and it's it's just I'm gonna be doing five minutes of my jokes, and then uh, Luke, who's like an improv um, artist, is just gonna do my set after me, from okay. what he remembers and what like he can uh, put his own flavor on it. So okay, and really how about fun. you? So, okay, sorry. Uh, did you have anything to add, uh, Victoria? No, that's it. Victoria's Secret. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't wait. Joey. Actually, that's funny because that's one of our don't jokes. Yeah, this is one um, yeah. Okay. Go on, Joey. Where are you going to be performing? Uh, this Wednesday, I'll be performing at uh, Bar Villeray for Comedy Showcase. Uh, it's an awesome show, basically kind of an audition for going into uh, weekend shows. It's going to be hosted by Amarez, really talented comedian. Just him being a host, it's already a good reason to come. And it's really cheap. Those tickets are dirt cheap. It's five bucks. You get in. You have an amazing night with amazing comedian. 
and some so and so. Mm. I'm in there, but uh, I mean, uh, for the rest, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Uh, next Wednesday, I'm doing the comedy nest for uh, the comedy lab. It's basically a contest where we're giving a team, and we have to uh, write a joke about it. And the best joke is winning twenty bucks and a bragging right, and we get a spot the week after. So that's interesting, also for that. Uh, so also, sixth uh, of August. I'm going to be hosting our first open mic night at Pop St. Paul. It's uh, $5 getting in also. It's cheap. And we already have an awesome, uh, an awesome, uh, awesome line lineup. Of, on, on, lineup. On August yeah. 6th, there's going to be Asher that's going to be there. Amher is going to be there. Yes. Uh, that's and going to be a great you're going to be there. Yeah, okay. as a host. I, no, I gonna, meant the person listening should be there ah, as well. Yeah, you so, should all be there. Okay, yeah. gonna, the person yeah. listening? You mean the audience or what? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, 34. People. Yeah, Skyflame28, yeah. Peter Bowen. Well, I know it's you. Uh, yeah. so, <laughs> Skyflame28 slash Peter Bowen, 34. What, what is he trying to say? We will yep. add in description. Yes, Jen, we, we sure will. We're going to add that in the description. Also, we're doing a podcast also. Every Wednesday, we're trying to go live. For the next two weeks, it's not going to happen for obvious reason. But uh, we're going to keep uh, going as much as possible live. We have a French podcast too that we try to do weekly also. So we're pretty busy yeah. right now. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Joey, are you going to try your hand at some French comedy at some time? Uh, I did a French comedy uh, online, but uh, that doesn't count. But I'd yeah. like to do French comedy at some point. Okay, and I understand one of your idols, Joey, Joey, is uh, Mike Ward because he does both uh, yes. in English. Uh, yeah, also because I've been following him for a long time, and I always thought that he was one or not the best uh, French comedian right now. Okay, so you've been stalking him, you've been following him. Yeah. Exactly, since Piment Fort. Oh my God! Okay, and Vicky, we we uh, we're in our closing uh, segment of the show. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what your future aspirations are concerning uh, comedy. Uh, you know, I know you want to be a headliner. Or anything else? I don't have anything else. I'd like to to. I mean, I have personal goals. I'd like to be able to do crowd work and stuff. Um, mm. I would like to go on the comedy showcase, Sid, if Sid is listening, Sid. Uh, uh, DM him? Uh, hang on. I, I did, did, I did. Oh, Still actually, on. I am on the comedy showcase. I totally forgot. Whoa. I'm going to be there on July 15th. <laughs> hey, 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 guys. so happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Plug Sid. Who is Sid? What, what, uh, what, um, what's his full name? Sid Kular is a really... He's a, like a really positive influence okay. in, the, in the Montreal scene. He's a promo, a comedy promoter, okay. right? Yes, right? I would yes. know. Yeah, he does, he, he, yeah, he's he a great does. guy. I don't remember what his job is, but he's a great guy. He do something great. Is he? But, uh, is he a producer? Because I, 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 because I, I, I heard him in interviews and stuff, and he's yeah. just like, you know, like how Asher is. It's just like everyone just sort of calms down, yeah. and he just brings everyone together. I feel like he has that sort of energy around him. Yeah. Which is okay. Nice. Guys, listen, you don't uh, seem convinced at all. You're like, I don't know okay. him a lot. That's why. <laughs> hey, hey, you beautiful people. We have run out of time, unfortunately. I got to do my closing comments over here, but I do thank you very much. Uh, you know, stand by because I want to keep you for uh, uh, after when we go off the air. Stand by, guys. Stay with me, please. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. To our Rob's Inner Circle tonight, we had Victoria Blair and Joey Laflamme, two local comedians. They're up and rising. They're going to be famous one day. And uh, we encourage you guys to follow these two. They're absolutely hilarious. They're funny. Their brand of comedy isn't exactly clean. you got to go see them live. They can't do that here on my show, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'd like to thank Jenny Duhame, my wonderful producer, for being there, for helping me produce the show. And guys, don't forget, this upcoming Wednesday, episode two of Daily Struggles is coming out, starring myself, Patty Saragossa, Angelo Ange Parella, the, uh, from the Ange TV show. 
Uh, he's going to be uh, on making a cameo appearance, and Art Leduc is going to be making his narrative appearance as well on our show. And guys, uh, one last thing: we um, we invite you to go onto Bobby Short Shorts and go check out all our productions. That goes for you two guys too, right? Yes. You want to click like? Give us that blue thumb. Many of those. Very well. Comments, share, watch our videos for at least two minutes. You want to go all the way, anyways. Okay, you want you you want to watch the videos, okay? You want to share and you want to talk about us to all your friends. All right, guys. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Vic. Stay tuned. We're gonna be talking behind the show, people. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Ciao.